when you give a gift and then you give something back, then that's an exchange and it cancels out the gift that was given. If you give me something and I don't give you anything oh, yeah. back, there's an energy signature that's left. There's a vulnerability. You got it, Daisy. Put it down.
should have said that before. That's what they said right before they came. They did. And I was like, what? Yeah, they took like 98% of the indigenous people. Terminated in 26 years in the gold rush. It was 1848 until 18. That wasn't a bite. It was a love. It was a love level. Until 1874. Give me that. All right, fine. Give me the. Give me that fluff like that. Oh, you just want to look at my touch. Stop being so fresh. <laughs> I see a smile. Sure do. I see a smile. Jesus loves you. Why do you guys believe in baby Jesus? I agree babies have a lot of wisdom, but why give babies so much power? An ancient baby to 2,000 years ago. Fox News, what do you guys think was going to happen? You came out here to make fun of me. I like to play. Do you like to play too? That was playtime. It's playtime! Alright, well cameraman, you're not being very playful, engineers. Well, you're doing is work. And work is not fun. So no, no wonder you're not being that relational. This isn't about building trust or interdependence. You're just doing a job. And as soon as the job's over and the money is gone, you won't be back. Which means the, the flow is lost. When you give a gift and then you give something back, then that's an exchange and it cancels out the gift that was given. If you give me something and I don't give you anything back, there's an energy signature that's left. There's a vulnerability. It's not even listening to
No, I don't think I can talk about that. I think they're just going to talk about... I told them I'm a performance artist. Yeah. So um, when people see me and I'm like... I don't want to see like, that really does release oxytocin and do... Like, it relaxes us. And when people see me, then glutamate will tell them, go get that. You're going to get dopamine if you interact with that. Like, there's invisible things that... With the, so there's wisdom. And I'm a performance artist and a sage. Yes. And I'm also a prophet. And since I, were, I got models for Playboy, I'm... So, so are you okay with that interview or you feel bad about it? Why'd you turn that off, German? Why are you so conservative? It's because you're European. Why am I conservative? <laughs> Film that! Film Playmate Prophet! German in Venice! How dare you! I'm gonna blow fire at you! I'm Playmate Prophet and the prophecy has begun! You will bow! German in Venice? You are a conservative little German, aren't you? You bow to me right now. I used to be dominatrix. First, I was sugar babe, and I liked the real submissive of guys who liked to be I used to walk out of dinner during the bathroom break just because I felt like you okay to say hi to you anymore. So, German in Venice, you will pay! Play, the Playmate Prophet has spoken. Get down! Round. And if you think my broken fifth metatarsal is going to be an issue, it's not. I'm about to drop a truth bomb. It's gonna love sparkle, you German. German, you turn away because you're German. If you were Native American, you wouldn't turn away. If you turn off the camera, I'll bite your ear and then I'll make you lick your lips and smile. And then I will tickle your brow line so your brows relax because that is white hey, shape. How's it going? We're gonna unwhite double you right now. German and Venice. <laughs> Come on, German, no, don't turn show that. That. I can't. I'm not German! To that. I can't. I'm not German, you're too conservative. <laughs> okay, six, six, eight. You're gonna blur it out and send a Monica close off? It's okay. John's not allowed to be here. He has to go away. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. You know that you can get right Carry on. You want to be angry already? Well, you don't mind me calling you in case? No, I'm not. Yeah, still, I know it from. You know, film me. It's going to be good. Yeah. 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 German and yeah. Venice. I go, I go by John. So I told you I'm a performance artist. I demonstrate. I love it. I don't like that assessment. I don't can give you my consent. I want to be treated with respect, and I told you to give me space. That's how you contribute to my thriving. I do not words. I want words, I want space. So I'm being clear, I'm telling him what I want. So that's the most loving thing I can do, and then I remove myself. So I don't try to like control or force or dominate. I came to this beach, not to like give unsolicited advice, so that's my work, like not telling people what to do and to have data gathering conversations of work is a joke. I see that when people are angry and they're like, your actions don't have efficacy, you're annoying people. That's true. And I'm working with that because I got a lot of trauma. I come from privilege and believe it or not, like people who come from scarcity, there's a lot of trauma, but people come from privilege, they're brutalized the most. Because how do you think that they can just not care that there's people who have like nothing and they have way more than they need? Either coercion and get programmed with that in a domination system that operates from higher gear power, or we can learn from relational partnership, interdependence, a care for the whole, like intrinsic motivations and being, instead of being scared of looking outside of ourselves, like you know, being hyper attuned to how this person feels. Or maybe we don't know how anyone feels because we're more neglected instead of someone being like, don't do that, don't do that. 
and maybe they just kind of ignore us. And then we're just kind of like left on our own wondering how everyone feels. We don't know and acknowledges how we feel when we tell them we're just told to go deal with our feelings. So we get like either avoidant or anxious or disorganized attachment styles. And then we want to be securely attached. So I came from disorganized attachment style. I also came from alcoholism and I was using cocaine from 22 till 36 years old. I got sober August 2nd. 2018. I've got five and a half years sober, coming up on six. I smoke weed. That's it. I tried mushrooms. They don't work on me. I don't take them. I guess I'm already tripping on life. Um, so I don't, you know, I just smoke weed. And I'm here to unite and awaken. So what I do is I spend a long time getting to know all the house. And then I spend time getting to know all the city workers. So everyone like tells me they're you know how many city workers went by and said we're not going to throw it away but we were told to we're not going to throw it away but we were told to and they're like that's interdependent community so I believe in like communities meeting needs together I believe in fellowships and instead of us coming from coercion and all of us hate how it feels to go to work or to go to school but how many of us love to learn but do we even know that we love to learn how many of us love to contribute and share our gifts and talents and have a sense of me if you hadn't been treated like shit and I care about that you're lovable I want you to find love and unconditional belonging I want you to be supported and empowered I care about you guys hey why didn't you get that oh yeah the music music all right so be stoked get in the water get out today go wash your windows at your house whatever it is you need to do to get Right.